Step 1. Create the model logic. This step requires only Excel tools, not Evolver. You must first develop the logic of the model in the usual way using typical Excel formulas. This has already been done for you in the product mix model, and you can review the Excel formulas. This model is then a starting point for optimization with Evolver. In any Evolver model, there must be at least one adjustable cell, and there are usually several, possibly spread out over different ranges. In the present model, the adjustable cells are those in blue font in row 17. They correspond to the decisions the company must make, how many, if any, of each product to produce. Any values can be entered in these cells initially, even zeros. Evolver will eventually find the optimal values. The adjustable cells must lead directly or indirectly through Excel formulas to the objective cell that the company wants to optimize. In this model, the objective is the profit in cell C27. Evolver models often have constraints that restrict the allowable values of the adjustable cells. In this model, there are constraints on the availability of labor hours and cloth. There are formulas in cells C20 and C21 that indicate how much of each resource is used And there are constants in cells E20 and E21 that indicate the available resources. The less than or equal to labels in between are not absolutely necessary, but they are a reminder that the company can't use more resources than are available. Note the formula in cell C26. It uses Excel's SUMIF function to sum over all fixed costs in row 14 that correspond to products produced at any positive level. This function jumps sharply if you change the value of any adjustable cell from zero to a positive level or vice versa. This makes the model non-smooth, that is it has jump discontinuities which makes the optimization more difficult. However, Evolver's algorithms are able to handle non-smooth models quite well. Now it's your turn. Take a close look at the model, especially the formulas in the ranges C20 to C21 and C24 to C27. Then enter different values in the adjustable cells and watch how the components of profit change. You might start to get a feel for good values in the adjustable cells but you will probably not be able to guess the optimal product mix decisions.